right, so the max power switch. I've actually seen quite a few comments in forums, discords, Facebook, Reddit, where people have asked about the max power switch and some answers that were correct, semi-correct, and some that were just straight up wrong. Um, and I figured I'd make a video just kind of going over what it is and why it does nothing in DCS. Currently in DCS, we've got the Block 50 F16, and the Block 50s have the General Electric F110 engine. And the max power switch is basically a Pratt & Whitney switch only. It doesn't work on the GEs at all. In fact, uh, I was coming from the 62nd Fighter Squadron, I went up to the 18th at Eielson, and I asked about this because I had never worked GEs before. And I was told by somebody in specs, I believe, he was telling me that it's not even electrically wired to the engine uh, for, for a GE. And that's because the GE doesn't respond to that command at all. It, it doesn't have, I, as far as he was telling me, it doesn't even have a spot for it to be wired. Now, I could be, he could have been wrong. He's just, he's a specs guy. He's not an engine shop guy. Uh, but that was what I was told. And I know that the GEs do not use that switch at all. I don't know if it's actually not wired to it, but uh, from, from the way he explained it, he he never seen it wired. But pre-Block 30s, um, even some Block 30s, if I remember right, there were some, but uh, later on, Block 30s were given the GE, but prior to that, even in the old Block 25s, it was the Pratt & Whitney engines. And the Pratt & Whitney's, the old Pratt & Whitney's, not the new ones, the old F100s, the 200s, 220s, I think, the new 229s don't respond to this switch either, the new Pratt & Whitney's. So if you have a Block 52 with a Pratt & Whitney in it, uh, and it's got the new 229s, those, I believe, don't respond to this just like the GE's. But the old Pratts, the, the 200s and 220s, I think, uh, they do use this switch. The switch is wired to them, and they do respond to it. Every engine the F-16 has ever had has had a computer that controls the entire engine. It takes care of air intake, uh, temperatures, everything. Uh, all you have to do as a pilot is to worry about throttling up and throttling down, getting the speed you want. This switch was put in for the specific purpose of emergencies only. Um, because if you did use the switch, I was told while I was working on the 25s that if a pilot ever flipped it on, that it was almost always an automatic engine inspection. Uh, and I was told that if they left it on for longer than, I think it was like five or six minutes, that engine was toast, like melted. So it was only to be used in extreme emergencies and only in obviously times of war. Um, so if you needed to bug out and get the heck out of there as quick as possible, you had to be above Mach 1.1 and in full burn, and then you could flip that switch on and it would actually open up everything. Basically flipping this switch on disabled all safety features that the computer had for the engine and allowed as much air intake as you wanted and it allowed as much heat as you wanted in the engine. So this thing would overheat and suck in as much air as you wanted and get as fast as you wanted. Uh, and, and it would get you out of there in a hurry from what I was told. And apparently there were some pilots that had been using that switch and causing a lot of engine damage over the early years. And the Air Force ordered all the max power switches safety off. So every day it was actually part of my BPO inspection to make sure that that safety wire was there and that the switch was safety wired off. Now, if we deployed to a war zone, we would have cut that safety wire and that switch should be uh, available for use. But during uh, peacetime, safety wired off. I've never talked to a pilot who actually got to flip it on. In fact, I don't think there's many who have. I think there's only a few F-16 pilots in history who have actually been able to flip the max power switch on on a Pratt & Whitney engine. So I don't know what it actually felt like or looked like. So the intro video is obviously a highly dramatized representation of what most people think the max power switch did it's what i thought it did when i saw the switch and heard about how it worked um i don't think that it was instant power like if you were to flip uh nitrous on in a, in a combustion engine on a car but uh but i know that it basically removed all safety features of the computer and allowed the engine to open up its guide vanes wide open and let as much air in as you wanted and get you out of there in a hurry so with the current module, we will never see this switch do anything. We've got the big mouth GE engine, so we got, we're already sucking a lot of air and uh, going really fast with that new GE. We didn't need the power max power switch. So if you're at an air show and you see an old F-16, Block 25 or so, and it's got those turkey feathers, most likely it's that old Pratt, and it does have that max power switch, and most likely it's safety off. So I hope this clears up any questions, uh, why it doesn't do anything. 
You actually don't need it with that new GE and that big mouth in the front. So yeah, just an FYI video. I'll see you in the next one. Nobody snuggles with max power. You strap yourself in and feel the G's. Oh, Lord.